Hello, welcome back to our Hime. Let's just continue. So I'm expecting a lot of crap to happen. I had a hard time waking up in the morning. It took a lot of shaking from Natsu to finally break my slumber. I was seized by exhaustion and fatigue for the likes of which I'd never felt before. I couldn't muster the energy to get up, and I wasn't the only one. All the girls were in the same state as me. もう仕方ないわね。大方明け方まで起きておしゃべりしてたんでしょ。もう。ね、別に。ビオの大敵、相対的に先生の魅力がアップってなっちゃうわよ。ミシンが assumed we all stayed up too late. But she ultimately told us to take the day off and go home so we could take it easy. Kiko and I went home together. She looked ragged with exhaustion, but she never responded when I asked if she was okay. And so I was in sleep deprivation. Last night, I had a horrible nightmare. Was it possible we all shared that dream? Kiko-chan was... I didn't see a dream. I don't know. I don't think it was a normal dream. That was all she said. But I was sure of it. She had had that crazy dream too. Fortunately, I was back in shape by the afternoon. However, Kiko had been suffering in her sleep the whole time. I worried if she was having another nightmare. Ugh. I recalled the dream I had the night before. It had toyed with me in comprehensible ways the whole time. Yet there was one moment where I broke through the bell with my own will. Perhaps even that was nothing more than just a part of the dream. But then I remembered Kurakami. She looked shocked at that moment. I'd done something unexpected and wrecked the dream's established rules. Though I think you're still too late. There was no way you could fight back against nightmares. But that hadn't been, hadn't been a dream, I knew it. It was some sort of experience we all had all shared. Then it could be resisted and I had fought back. Though I felt I was grasping at straws and told my dad everything. うん。I cleansed myself, changed clothes, and began training in the yard. Can I really save her this way? No, I couldn't allow myself to think that. I had to keep my mind clear. Kiko wasn't doing well. Like Miss Hinagana, her parents believed she was just exhausted from staying up at night. But I knew the truth. This wasn't something so simple as a cold or sleep deprivation. That nightmare like something that nightmare like something was still eating away at her. And though we had the same dream, I had I got better rather quickly. Something only I possess must have abated, and if I could obtain that through this, perhaps I could save her. And to my mind and focus on training longer than usual. Kiko -chan. I knocked, but there was no answer. I tried turning the door up and found it wasn't locked. She said her that she locked it later. She locked it later meaning she hadn't gotten out of bed once since then. I quietly entered to find Kiko fast asleep, her breathing labored. Kiko -chan. She didn't answer. The only response I got were her pained breaths and occasional groans. There was no doubt about it. She was still trapped in that nightmare. What could I do? I purified my body and trained. If the power to crush evil dwells in me because of that, then I fear I should be able to use it by now. I gently placed my palm on her forehead. Just then, I felt something akin to vertigo. 
the room was pitch black. There was nowhere that could be producing any light, yet I felt something like a brilliant light slowly fill me up. Kiko got out a heavy breath. It was different from my labor breathing, from her labor breathing before. The breath, my breath was clear, clearly a sigh of relief. Kiko chan. Jesus saw it still clung to her face, but the pain etched into her features had faded. She slowly took my hand and lovingly placed it on her cheek. Thank <laughs> Oh, so you know she's gonna have freaking stuff and things. I tried to move my hand back, but she frantically grabbed it. This would be sweet if this wasn't Iwahime. <laughs> Kiko nuzzles her cheek against my hand like a cat for a while afterwards. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The thing that happened in the very beginning of the game. She was daydreaming it? What? Yeah. Yeah. あ、確信するんだ。鈴虫にはきっと不思議な力があるんだね。this confirmed my suspicions. Something evil was tormenting her, and I had the power to relieve it. I've been training for as long as I could remember. Not even once had I questioned what it was all for. But for the first time, I felt I understood. Perhaps it had all been for this particular time. すごい清らかな感じだもん。汚れとか全然ない感じ。だから悪いものも退散しちゃうんだろうね。私スズムに会えてよかった。スズムに出会えてから毎日がどんどんハッピーハッピーになっていったもん。そうなら僕も嬉
and the password stories have been any indication, yeah. She said that loud and clear. Kiyo said it was thanks to me she managed to wake from that nightmare. But how did I know it wasn't my fault that she had the dream to begin with? On that day, Kiko announced to the LCSC that she and I were going out. I could tell she had earned her a great deal of ire from the other girls. The atmosphere had been so tense after that. And she had even commented that it was like they were possessed by something. The score caught me right, and I brought misfortune upon them by getting too close. Nothing made sense. At any rate, I couldn't think of anything to do but stay close to her like this. Just what was happening here? What could I do? Though Kiko's condition improved a little, she still wasn't fully better. My power was probably not to endure, not to cure, but to provide temporary relief. She was staying home from school today and would be going to the hospital. Kiko was still suffering a bit, but she was doing much better than before. I'd probably give her a check up at the hospital. A strange thought came to me. I would probably give her some safe generic diagnosis like a cold. But I had a feeling that what was happening to Kiko, that thing we'd experienced that could only be likened to a nightmare, had to be something that couldn't be explained by medical science. Yo, with the practiced air, Nazi sent a text to the LCC group inquiring about the club members' conditions. Oh, well, later he got a response from Ms. Nagata.僕も、もう今は大丈夫って送ってくれる。うん。夏君はメール打つのいつ見ても早いな。数々のデュエルで鍛えた指さばきの賜物よ。あの日の昼にはもう大丈夫でした。でも、キコちゃんは悪い夢にうなされているような感じ。はい。僕もあの夜何かとても気持ちの悪い夢にうなされた気がします。キコちゃんも悪夢にうなされていたと言ってた。き
僕のうぬぼれでもないならば僕には何かそういう力が宿っているように思いますどうしてすすはらくんをシャチホコブに招いたか知ってるえいえ私もなの私もハルミヤさんたちと同じく悪い白昼も見やすい体質なの成人してからだいぶマシになったけれどねそれでもたまに見るのあの日もね久しぶりに随分と気持ちの悪い白昼夢にやられていたその時よ白い暖かな光に満たされて悪夢から目覚めさせられたのえまさかその時保健室に入ってきたのがあなたとアツタ君よあんな経験は初めてだった人にで悪夢を晴らす力があるなんてねだから私はその力を確かめたくてあなたたち2人をシャチホコブに誘ったのよ最初はアツタ君にその力があるかと思ったの彼の暑苦しいまでの賑やかさそういうものには悪いものを払う力が少しはあるからでもそれだけのことで悪夢を払えるわけがないすすはらくんの神前武術の話を聞いて確信したわあなたには悪夢を払う力があるのよ僕はどうすればいいんでしょう私とあなたの仮説を確かめるには試すほかはないわね試すって行くわよみんなの家にあなたがお見舞いすることでみんなの症状を軽くできるかもしれない、うん、もしできたならできたならすごい朗報シャチホコブそうハッピー We went and Miss Hina got his car to visit the others. She seemed a bit excited. Sese. Nani? Shachokobu te. Nanan deska. Shakai Hoshi no Bukatsu. Do you tatemai deska? Saki no Sensei no Kanji dato. Nanika, Chigau Kigashimas. Sensei mo Chiko chan mo. 悪夢を見やすい体質だと言っていましたひょっとしたら見延先輩もリリアちゃんもそうなんじゃないですか君が私の期待する通りの力を持つ人なら近いうちに全てを話さなければならないでしょうね今は話せないんですか私の頭がおかしいんじゃないかって思われたら嫌だもん<笑>ああ先生あれは本当に悪夢なんですか悪夢としか近くできないと言うべきでしょうねつまり悪夢ではない何か私は少なくともそう思っているわでも悪夢と思っていた方が多少は気が楽よ教えてください一体何なんですか神前武術という神聖な儀式で和らげることができると理解しているすすはらくんならもう想像がついてるんじゃない今ここでしている話は先生とすすはらくんだけの秘密よこんな話を大真面目にしてるなんて教頭先生に知られたら大変なんだから。
You seem to kind of press the doorbell several times until Minobu's voice finally came through the intercom. She hadn't been ignoring us, though, which is just how long she needed to head up bed. Nobody let us into her place. And I saw the exhaustion etched on her face, I was sure. It was exactly the same as with Kiko. She'd been plagued with nightmares since I was like, no, the night before that. I placed my hand on Minobu's forehead as she lay in bed. I got the same feeling I did with Kiko. A feeling of brilliant light, brilliant white light filling everything. すぐの手が触れると気持ち悪いのがさっと逃げていく感じ。よかった。やっぱり聞いたんだ。すごい。だ、本当にテンポラリー。やっぱり進原君には不思議な力が宿ってるんだわ。どういうこと詳しくはわ
I'm just collecting bubble shit so far. It's all been nice. So I'm afraid to put my guard down. <laughs> ずっと僕にはそれを和らげる力があるから。不思議ですよね。どうして先輩の手にはそんな力が。普段の稽古の賜物としか言えないよ。幸運を解散してこれからは須藤原君の指導で新前武術部を始めようかしらね。Ruri's complexion improved, but she just dropped to sleep. Ruri's mother, who came in with a trip of tea, was also happy to see her daughter was doing better. There is only one more left. Kurokami must have been suffering from nightmares too. We we gotta end that there. The fact that it saved right before we were going to Kurokami, I'm expecting some despair, shall we say? Because I think. My original thought when I first started this game was that Kurokami was the one doing the cursing. And then it kind of shifted over to maybe to thinking like Suzumu was like unconsciously cursing people. But now it's come back around to Kurokami possibly being the antagonist, shall we say. Because Suzumu now has an actual power that can help the people that are suffering from these nightmares. Which are not really nightmares. Because I think what Nagata was saying, you know, I already forgot her name. The teacher was saying, she was about to say, I believe maybe hauntings probably is what she was. But then she stopped herself because I think that's what these are actually called. These are called hauntings, not actually nightmares, but they're perceived as nightmares. I don't know why I kept it up with that. Anyway, that'll do for this video. Subscribe. And and hit the bell to be notified of all the, all the videos and like if you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye.